Hi, my name is Steve Tooth. I haven't been doing much MLP in a while. So we're going to try to read a fanfic. And this is where we're reading. <laughs> I'm sorry, this kind of looks actually fucking horrifying. I I'm not going to show that the scream anymore. <laughs> so this is from Death to Ponies. This, this is who wrote the book. The, the, f the fan fiction. Um, from 2022. This is around, like, last year. Damn. That's kind of fire! Anyway, uh, this was a speed writing cut? Under one hour? Bruh is making a fucking masterpiece in one fucking hour. Bruh. The following is a collection of letters found among the smoldering remains of a Golden Oaks library, hours after the disappearance of Twilight. Well, I guess that explains that face she's making now. Well, anyways, let's continue and... Hope I don't mess up. Dear Princess Celestia, I saw that face again today. This time was more innocuous than the last. It took me completely off guard. I was just minding my own business, not considering it in the last. Not at all worried for my own well-being. When wham, right in the mirror, my disgusting, twisted visage. Damn, that's not a good way to wake up in the morning. If I saw that when I was about to brush my teeth, I would fucking shit myself. <laughs> it was more contorted this time. Its mouth gaping far wider than any pony I've ever seen. Predictably, Spike, who had been following me around all day, just so happened to not be around when I saw it. So when he came running after my screams of terror and asked me, what happened? I looked like a crazy pony after pointing in the mirror. Wait, don't, wait, you, you don't have fingers. Oh wait, you have hooves. I'm st stupid. <laughs> Since this has happened a total of three times now, I can start to confirm my fear that this was not a simple trick of the mind or a mistake, but a genuine attempt at malice towards me. Spike believes me, of course. And so do the others, I think. But with no way to prove the entity's existence to them, they feel lost and disconnected from my issue. That was in one take. That was in one take, let's get it! My first thought, of course, was that this was some kind of punishment for what happened nine moons ago. Do such things even exist in Equestria? Truly, I think, the truth of karma being real has so many implications, not only on my own life, but in the lives of all the enemies me and my friends have saved Equestria from. Is this what they see? Is this how it is for them? Either way, I deserve it. That was another one take. I love myself so much. Dear Princess Celestia, I am having the hardest time writing since I keep looking up and seeing those horrible eyes staring back at me. They have found a new home in the corners of my room as well. So whenever I turn around, there they are. I don't like it here anymore. I don't know where else to go. At least now I understand why the others were so willing to leave me behind. There were a few drops of blood on this paper. Holy fuck. She's becoming paranoid, and I'm kind of concerned. Dear Princess Celestia, I've done something so stupid. I wish I could take it back. What I am seeing is death incarnate. The living form of my sinew that, if I did write down everything I've gone through in the past several days, I'd never find the strength to finish. Celestia, please forgive me. There is significantly more blood on this paper, obscuring far more words. Far more words? Oh shit. 
Dear Princess Celestia, I must thank you once again for everything you've done for me here in Ponyville. Today, we had quite the experience with the buffaloes and the Sands. Every pony learned quite a lot, but I learned to never judge a book by its cover and always listen to all sides of a disagreement. Rainbow Dash and Pinky had an even crazier time, though. Remind me to recall the entire story to you on my next visit. This letter curiously, curiously marks a return to normal. On blood spilled notes. Wait. Wait the fuck a minute. Isn't this from the episode where, like, um... They, where Pinky's like, you gotta share, you gotta care. Is that, is that what, is this, is this the note? Oh my fuck, that actually is scary. I do not like that. I do not like how it contrasts from Twilight going insane and then just contrasting to, oh, happy things, nothing, ca I don't, I fucking hate that. So this is probably from her previous uh, letters. Dear Princess Celestia, I'm starting to wonder if any of this is real. I hear ponies talking about things on the news. Did we used to have news? Did we used to have TV? When did I get a TV? Why do I even know what a TV is? Why am I married to Pinkie Pie? Oh my god, guys, Twilight Pie's canon, let's get it, let's go! Okay, that, that, <laughs> it's not important. But let's just continue, because this is actually kind of getting crazy already off the bat. Okay, so, um, after I read this, this will probably give you a little bit of shivers down your spine. So let me just read it. Dear Princess Celestia, you're not going to like what happens next. That's it. That's all it says. That's actually all it says. I, okay. When I have a character, when I'm reading something and they're prone to writing diaries of like very detailed of, of their exploration and stuff, when they make another where it just only has one sentence. One, 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 just a few words. Just one singular sentence. It feels so off. I, I just don't feel safe. <laughs> like, with horror, that is. I, feel scared i'm concerned <laughs> like are you okay so i i tend to get scared because like this is just one sentence you're not gonna like what happens next that's literally it and the next the next uh, diary the next thing she wrote it's definitely what she she was right i was not gonna like what's happening next Dear Princess Celestia, I know that I am no longer writing to you, Princess Celestia. Your sniveling little rat Spike finally let it slip that he's been eating these letters instead of sending them to you. I heard him say it after bending his arm in a direction arms don't bend. Of course, it was only when I threatened to feed him his own teeth that he let the real truth slip. He's not eating them. He's stashing them. Why? What are you going to do? Are you trying to pin me? Well, you won't stop me. I'll be stashing this ladder with the rest of them. Jesus Christ, Twilight, are you... 
in fucking madness combat? Stop hurting the boy! He's just a baby, man! Man, free spike from Twilight, bro. Get him out of there! Dear Princess Celestia, I saw the face again. Please, please help. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to play this game anymore. I'm tired. I'm lonely. My mind is almost always altered. I'm always just floating through life. Nothing is ever good. Nothing is ever bad. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, this face shows up again. Was this you all along? Why did this happen to me? How many times has this happened to me? Oh. I'm kind of sensing a little bit of schizophrenia. I'm not assuming it. I'm just getting some vibe of that theme. i kind of concerned. Twilight, go to therapy. Dear Princess Celestia, this will be the last letter I write to you. You are a good teacher to me. I won't doubt that. But I have to seriously criticize you on your Discipline tactics. I didn't deserve any of this. I've decided you are unfit for power, Celestia, and I'm going to overthrow you. I've written these letters and placed them in a conspicuous place in my apartment, which I will set ablaze in the night and escape in the chaos. Going to a secret location and binding my time. I've hidden these letters in some of the most obvious places imaginable and written them in a way that conveys intrigue to slow readers down and buy more time. By the time whoever is reading this is reading it, I'm long gone. And now you know my whole plan. And last words... I do apologize if harm comes to you. Because of this, that will depend on what happens next. Of course, but if I do have to kill you, realize that it's because of her. Celestia, she said what I did was a disgrace. She was right, but nothing no pony deserves a hell like this. If you want my advice, run. Run like your life depends on it. Equestria will fall before I let her sit another day in power. The final page simply contains an image. A horrific, twisted depiction of Twilight. Her mouth open wide to a disgusting degree. Staring dead-eyed at the viewer. Uh, yeah. uh. I don't... Now it's stuck in my head. Now I'm, become, I'm gonna become Twilight. Get out of my head! Get out of my head! <laughs> Well, that was the entire story. I'm not kidding. That's it. Pretty short. So, uh, learning from all that. Well. That was a lot of things. Honestly, was surprised about the Twi-Pi part. Like, she married? On God? Well, um. Uh, it's just... Write out your theories in the comments if you want. I don't know what's going on, but that was very spooky. Very spooky story. I never want to read that again. <laughs>